What you got? Here, here. What you got? <laughs> Found a coin. Let's have a Gave look. it a rub. What you got? That's just a 2p. 2010. Ooh, lovely. Is uh, Gregory Hastings on there? Nah, that's old. Well, I shouldn't say old, but she's getting there. So that's Elizabeth. How dare you! Look at this. What do you think? What's your opinion, Lego? I have no idea. Is it off like a, s a horse saddle? Look, there's two lumps of metal there. Two on the other side. I don't know, mate. Axe head. Definitely an axe head. Yeah. So what I've just deciphered in the last 12 seconds is, and confirmed with Damien, our antique dealer, this is a bronze axe head. The bit of wood be, would be going down there. These are the two axe bits where you can hurt someone really badly. It's a weapon of choice. So yeah, we'll weigh this in at the scrapyard because this bronze is probably going to get us 500 grand in scrap metal, but that's what you get when you find bronze items. You just can't go wrong. The good thing about metal detecting is sometimes you come across vegetables you can take home. But it's the Christmas period, so we've got plenty. I think Matty wants this one though. Incoming! <laughs> right, so I've just found this and it's a very interesting find. It is a razor blade. If you look down here, you can see written on it, it says Shelby Company Stainless Steel. Shelby Company Stainless Steel. You can see that leg on there? Yeah, that definitely says Shelby Company. Now, if you don't know who Thomas Shelby is, he was part of the Peaky Blinders. Now, he burnt this pub down in 1915 uh, with his brothers. He used to go around burning pubs down and then restoring them and owning them. But he's obviously cut someone. He used to have these razor blades in the front of his... Well, if you've seen the programme, he used to have the razor blades in the front of his hat. And he used to go around, and if you've seen the programme, bang, bang, bang. And they... That's good. You're probably wondering why I've got Leggett's glasses on as well. Now this was a w World War II grenade. Now it's obviously been dropped by some German when they bombed Norwich and it's been in the canal. Now I've got Leggett's glasses on just in case this goes off because if this goes off it's going to take my eye out. So if you find anything like this just make sure you wear glasses or safety goggles when you're giving it a good inspect. Be careful with that Matty, that might still be live you know. What this? Yeah. Just a really old junk. I've had to drag Matty round the corner to the doctors because that World War II grenade went off in his face. And, well, the glasses fortunately protected his eyes. As you can see, no damage. But his face is going to need quite a few stitches. So how are you feeling, Matty? I could have been much worse, to be fair, Leggett. Um, your glasses saved my eyes. I mean... The doctor said I got so, so lucky. Um, he's removed as much shrapnel as he could from my face. He's plastered me up as best he could. Really nice chap, and I'm ever so thankful to him for, for what he's done. Thanks to Brian at Backstreet Doctors for sorting us out so quickly, and uh, Bag of Peas and Cow Poll, he reckons, so uh, I'll get on that soon as I'm home. Hello, yeah. hello, hello, hello. What you got now, Leggett? Oh, I know exactly what this is. Now this. Is oh my, is that what I think it is? Yes. You wouldn't know this, but back in the day, Delia Smith had a word with the Titanic captain, and he let him use this bit. Shipping lane. Yeah, as a shipping lane for the Titanic to have a practice run before they set off on their journey. And this is the light bulb they used in the main hall where they dined and they ate and they drunk their whiskey and that and had the cigars and that. And Wow, that's a find. Museum job, I reckon. What's that then, Matty? The biggest and heaviest bike we've ever pulled up. I still ain't got it over the edge yet. I don't know what this is. Let's get it over. Yeah. <laughs> Our little magnet pulled this up. Look at the size. What is it? For any bike fans, what is that? What is it? So why has it got two bits there and that? So they all squit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! What you got, Leggett? That's coming. It's a scooter, boy. A scooter? Oh, that looks like a new one. I know what this kind is. is that, it's actually new. I haven't seen it yet. It's a decent nick, to be fair. Let's have a look at this. Oh, the old Landles caught. Whoa! 
as you can tell, it's in great nick. Oh. Is that that? Is that oil coming out of there, Leg, or is that water? Oh, that's just a bit of water, that is, because they keep water inside the pole. It's a trial run of 3,000. Let's give it a go, shall we? Yeah, give it a go, Leg, and see what it's like. I will have to warn you, that's a bit icy and all. What a great climb. We'll take that down the skate park with my other boys. We've spotted this natural ramp and leg it is on his new scooter which he's going to clean up later and sell anyway let's have a go leg it incoming so i've just found this it's probably our best ever find and i'm so excited to find it i've called bbc news look east itv angler already and i've told them whoever gets down here first can have the story they're rushing down here now they said they'd be here as soon as they can the story goes behind this and you can see it's jewelry the Queen came down here in 1971 to open up this rowing club behind us. Obviously because she was the Queen and she opened it, she said she wanted to go on the first rowing job she could see. She jumped in the kayak, she was hossing down the river, and the crown jewels fell off her head. Now why she was wearing the crown jewels on her head, in a kayak, I have no idea, but she was. Terry. You'll read about it if you type it into the internet. Terry grabbed the crown jewels, jumped in, dived in for the queen. He grabbed them, saved most of them, but this was the remains. And I'm just ecstatic to find it. There's also a heart here with diamonds in it, which was on the crown jewels too. Um, yeah, we'll have a close up in a second so you can see, but we're ever so pleased. So we'll take this to Buckingham Palace later on and I'll personally deliver this to her. And um, I can't wait to see the look on her face. As you can see the close up, there are the diamonds in the heart. That was on the front of the crown. You'll see in the photos, the old photos. And there is the gold chain. So excited to give this to her later. See you later, Queenie. Leggett, what are you doing down there? We ain't got time to do this. We're supposed to be magnet fishing. I'm sticking what? one of our new stickers on the barra. What? Now. What do you mean in it? Look at that. Well, you got a new sticker. Yeah. Now, if you scroll down to the comments and have a look in there, you can get one of these for two quid delivered. Now, this can be put on your car, your wheelbarrow, or your mother-in-law. Go down and buy one. Now, I found this. Now, this is a true bit of historic trivia for you all. This is Sir Gregory Hastings' son's war helmet. Now, this child's war helmet is made out of mithril ore. And we all know what that means. It's very strong. Now you all know what Sir Gregory Hastings was like when he went into battle and his three-year-old son was no different. A dummy dipped in a dose of Drambui and he was a madman on the battlefield. What are you doing down there, Matty? This product is from sustainably managed forests and controlled sources. They're making baby wipes in the rainforest now. Here, here. Right, Leggett, come and have a look at this. you never guess what I found. This is an energy saving light bulb, but a gigantic one. Now, my ele electric bill for the last two years has been through the roof. And I tell you what, this is gonna solve all my problems. I won't tell you the electric company, because I'll get sued again. But this, I'm not gonna be paying electric for the next 20 years. This is better than solar panels. These millimeter intervals here mean only one thing. Now you've all seen Chicken Run, haven't you? Now Mrs Tweedy had that big old chicken pie maker machine. Now this is the main cog that went in that machine and she, I don't know how it's got in the river here, but it has, obviously, because I've got it. The machine's been out of work for a few years now, so I'm gonna take this back to Mrs Tweedy. She can put it back in the machine and she can start making her pies again. The old pie boys down Carrowood as well have been waiting for this cog for a long time. You know they like their pies down there at half time. That means Mrs Tweedy can get back in production Production, take a van down Carrood and start selling their pies to them again. What you got there then, Matty boy? Well, I think it's a cigar case, Leggett. On the back it says Café Creme Mild. Now, you know the person who likes to say creme is Del Boy, Creme de la Mange. Now, he came here in the 1980s to seal a deal on some avocado curtains with Dodgy Damien's dad. Now, he's obviously come out with Dodgy Damien's dad, at a barney near the river, got so annoyed that he's chucked his cigar case into the river, and uh, yeah, we don't know if the deal went down or not, but um, he obviously doesn't want this back. So I've just found this, and it's probably my, my most exciting find. For anyone who knows us, we always go to car boot sales, especially in the summer. So I'm always looking out for tat to clog up my house. Anyway, I've just found this. It's a lantern. We had a crowd round me as well. 
um, watching me pull this out, so it was a bit crazy too. Very old lantern, very tall, even the hinge works on it. I don't know how old this is, but it's been in there quite a while. And uh, yeah, we'll take this to Dodgy Damien and um, Grand, I reckon. Leggett, it's just pulled out something very interesting. What you got, Leggett? Well, you know our boy James Bond 007? He was doing a mission down here in Norwich one day. Speeding along he was on the side when he's got his little wheels, two-wheeler situation going on. And this is the bumper of his Aston Martin V12 Vanquish. Now, it's in great condition, almost new. So I'll take this to Dodgy Damien and get more than a grand for it. Now you may have seen in last week's video we found part of the crown jewels, well I've just found a bit more royalty. This is a pram wheel of Kate Middleton's pram. Now why is this in the Norwich River, I hear you ask? She take, used to take Prince George to that nursery over there on one fateful day. She walked across that bridge there, up this walkway here where you see plenty of people walking, and two hijackers grabbed the pram and they started hossing up and down, up and down. And then all of a sudden, it fell in the river. Luckily, Prince George wasn't in it because it would have been a big, big BBC news story about it, but yeah. Now, you may be wondering why she didn't have any security with her. Security Steve used to be her officer, and he was in the Ribs of Beef pub having a pint. We weren't having any of that. You need to look after our royalty, Steve. We don't want bad blood with you, but look after our royalty. Anyway, that's why he's working at the chemist. So we'll take this to the police station and get these people sorted out. This has got fingerprints lined all along the rim. If you can see here, Leggett, just have a zoom in on that. Can you see the fingerprints? Yeah, there's oh, definitely fingerprints all over it. Leggett? What are you doing down there, Leggett? We're supposed to be loading up, we've got to go home. That last find I just got was a big old mop. That's in pristine condition. So I've been having a bit of a dip in here. I'm just cleaning up the area that we've been magnet fishing on. So here I am outside Buckingham Palace. I've just dropped the crown jewels off to the Queen and uh, she was ever so happy to see them. Um, we got here by, well, my old friend uh, Helicopter Harry owed me a favour, so he dropped us off right on top of Buckingham Palace. We were handcuffed straight away, his helicopter was seized immediately and armed guards escorted us down into the palace. I've never had such an experience in my life, but Harry got pretty angry. I was all right, because they were doing us a favour, really, weren't they? Anyway, someone pulled some strings and we got to meet the Queen in the end, gave the crown jewels to her and oh, she was ever so happy. Lovely to meet you, Mum, and uh, all the best for watching us in the next episode.